In this video, we will learn about transistors, potentiometers, and basic concept behind simple DC motor speed controllers. Hi everybody, these are components we need to set up simple DC motor speed controller. This is potentiometer, this is a transistor, this is a simple resistor, and this is a DC gear motor. Also, we need breadboard and some jumper wires. First of all, I will jump into potentiometer and test it with a multimeter. A potentiometer may be like this or this or this. No matter, all of them are basically the same, but a little difference. All of them got three pins and a resistance value. Resistance between side pins is equal to potentiometer's resistance. Look here. For example, this potentiometer is 5 kilo ohms. Let's name the resistance between side pins as R. And resistance between left hand side pin and middle pin as R1 and resistance between middle pin and right hand side pin as R2. Then we got this equation in all types of potentiometers. R is equal to R1 plus R2. The exact value of R1 and R2 is related to handle position. If the handle turned in clockwise, R1 will grow and R2 will shrink and vice versa. This growing and shrinking behavior of R1 and R2 causes another characteristics for potentiometers, which is used in DC motor speed controllers. Let's explain it with a simple experiment. Connect 5 and 0 volts to potentiometer side pins and then measure middle pin voltage. You see what happens when I turn handle left and right. Voltage of middle pin changes. But don't be happy too soon. This voltage can't even run an LED, let alone DC motors. So what we can do to make this variable voltage usable for DC motor speed controllers? That's right, next component will help us in this journey this mysterious and amazing component. Transistor is a tripping component which often used as a digital switch. But it is not all of the story because transistor can amplify voltage and current too. This little amazing component got three pins named collector, emitter and base, which collector and emitter are used for switching voltage and current and the base pin is used to control that switching behavior. In this case, we got variable voltage from middle pin of potentiometer, but the current sucks and we have to amplify current on this variable voltage. Then we need a current amplifier or current buffer. Fortunately, transistors can do it very, very simply. There is a secret about BJT transistors that nobody tells you. Everybody tells that this type of transistors needs 0.7 volt voltage difference between their base and emitter pin to turn on. But it is not all the story. Because this type of transistors used to keep this voltage difference at any time. And the transistor will do its best and arrange everything to keep this voltage difference at any moment. For example, if you apply 3 volts to base pin of a transistor, you will get 2.3 volts 
on emitter pin regardless to current flowing from collector to emitter. And this is the key point of this video and the concept we were looking for to make a current amplifier. This is transistor C945, a simple MPN transistor and its pins are in this order, emitter, collector and base. I found this in datasheet. If you have to use another transistor, you must refer to its datasheet. Think of this simple circuit. Variable voltage is produced by this 5 kilo ohm potentiometer and applied to base pin of transistor through this 560 ohm resistor. This resistor is used here for current restriction in case the potentiometer turns left to end. And if you don't put this resistor here, actually base pin will directly connect to supply voltage and draw lots of current through the potentiometer and burn it. So we are ready to set up the circuit and test it. You see, it works perfectly, so the transistor will do its best to keep 0.7 volt voltage difference between base and emitter pins by allowing or blocking voltage from its collector pin to emitter. The transistor will amplify current on its collector pin to keep voltage on its emitter pin constant, no matter the load on output draw how much current. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe X Electronics Master Club channel for more videos.